Aha. Hello. Good morning. Testing, testing. That seems to work. Wonderful. Ah, it's been a while. Well, it feels like it's been a while. It hasn't been a while. It's been about 18 hours. <clears throat> but we are back on the 2.2 trial. However, in the interim, I have been done some things, including... leveled up our grand company ranks. They are no longer going to call me um, private all the time. Um, I've done some other bits and pieces as well. Oh, and I also think I managed to get to 52, because I don't think I was 52 um, last time. So. Just get rid of that. Okay, okay. So... Promises to keep. We are one, two, three, four, five. Five quests in to 2.2. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There are 20 quests, so we are actually a fifth. No. <laughs> a quarter. Dear Lord. Um, a quarter of the way through. Um... Yes, so we need to go and head down here. If you remember, uh, we'd come down here because we were trying to get a caravan sorted to take the Doman refugees over to Mordona, which is a, it's a reasonable jaunt. Um, but one guy has, uh, this guy in fact, has uh, had a bit of a dispute and he's ran off. Uh, I've turned the music off, haven't I? Put that back on. There we go. I thought it was oddly quiet. Okay, so we should, we are continuing our playthrough of the 2.x patches. This is uh, patch 2.2 into the Maelstrom, which is the path that they introduced Leviathan, as well as the Domans, um, which lays the groundwork for... The introduction of ninja or rogue at least um which isn't in this patch i think this is in a later one 2.4 i think anyway hey lead your van bugger off me driving days are done geeky and sort of that wouldn't listen when i tried to tell him what happened he pointed to the blade he says ha just the godsend blades what took me stuff in the first place to him it's all excuses and whining of course it tells me i've got to pay for the missing goods out of my own bleeding pocket the nerve of that bastard. To an alley, stuff has got robbed. They they even took me ring, and I was going to give that to me last, you know. Puh. Does he give two shots about me and what I lost? Does he bollocks? So, we need to reassure him with a... Uh, leave it to me. I'll do it. Hey, you mean to say you'll take it? Get the stuff back and everything? Hmm, press the 12, things are finally starting to look up. Are you to tell the Holstons to take it all to something in Nof somewhere in Norfolk as well? Shouldn't be too hard to find. Ain't like they got to either doing being blades and all. But you best be careful, miss. They ain't like to return what they took just because you're as polite. So, got to go up to uh, Norfolk as well. Which is over here. <laughs> ah, dust storms. I remember the dust storms weather in Final Fantasy XI. It was an unoptimised nightmare. Any time there was a dust storm, uh, about 95% of people's computers who played the game chugged to a halt. For some reason, there was something about that weather effect that was completely unoptimised and caused absolute havoc for, for most people. Um, Psycho, who I talk about every now and again, my best mate, um, he, uh, he had huge, huge issues with it. 
uh, to the extent that uh, it, we couldn't go and party in certain areas of the game um, because the threat of dust storms uh, was just a little bit too too iffy. Okay, I'm just waiting for my health to regen a little bit. Let's get uh, the Kraken out. I don't like your face, Missy. Makes me want to do things to it. And I reckon my mates feel the same way. Ain't that right, lads? So these are the brass blades. They're supposed to be guardians of law and order. But clearly, that's not the case. Oop. Useless weaklings. Out of the way. <laughs> Who is this bloody RP? The bloody warrior light itself. Why as it happens. <laughs> I yield, I yield, it's all yours, just don't hurt me please. Can't be bothered to run back, you've got to go all the way over there and up and over and ah, I'm too lazy. Oh. I've actually done this bit onwards reasonably recently. Um, I did it on my my alt. So I know roughly how long this will take. Hey! Oh, it's you! Hey, look, finding them blades what robbed me. Twelve, bless you, miss. Now I can sit on my accounts with Gigian. I'll make my way to Scorpion Crossing straight away. Looking forward to working with you. That's not the door. That's why it's not opening. No. Nope. Okay, so. Back we go to Scorpion Crossing. We have secured the services of our coachman. Which is right good. Okay, so. Gian! The woman of the hour! I hoped you might persuade him to return, but to go so far as to recover the stolen shipment, I must say that was a welcome surprise. Pray inform Mr. Alpha though that our preparations are complete, and we await his orders. Yes, I have no idea if the, uh, the voices are consistent between episodes. But that's fine, it's not like the um, the actual in-game voice acting is particularly consistent at times. And they're being paid to do it, and they've got lots of different people doing it. Speak with Alphano at the quicksand. Uh, if only I didn't have to. No further delays, I trust. Excellent. I should leave more tasks in your capable hands. On which note, the hourglass is now ready to receive the Dermans, which means our next order of business is to ensure their safe passage to Uldar. Um, I think I've already got... Oh no, I still need to uh, upgrade the earrings. I did go and spend some of my uh, 
poetics on some right hand side accessories as they're called i do level 100 it took me ages to get to i100 when i uh, first started playing this do, 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 do. half an hour has a mind to send you to vesper bay great as we speak the domains are being ferried to vesper bay after which they will be transported by carriage to uldar alas while our plans have proceeded relatively smoothly until now Efforts to coordinate the refugees' preparations have met with less success. Demogen, I would have you return to Vesper Bay and facilitate the process through tasks great and small. In short, whatever must need to be done, do it. Speak with Hosen when you arrive. He has been designated the leader of the first group. So, there are a few things that Hosen needs us to do. But they're not too bad. Bloop. 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 Do 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 if you were watching this after the straight after the last one, you'll notice that I've made a few changes to the uh, the, the stream interface. I've taken away the, the little bits and pieces in the uh, the corner. Um, they were messing a, a couple of things up uh, on my end, um, and also at some point I will be changing the uh, the uh, the branding at the top because so I finally come up with a bit of an actual logo for the uh, my Twitch account. Which is nice. Right, this is Hosen. He's uh, got that terrible moustache. Greetings. Alfino informed me that a scion would be arriving to help with the preparations. I am honoured to meet you, though shamed as well. A great warrior should not be tasked with such trivialities. Aye, I knew from a glance that what, what manner of woman you were. I too have some skill at arms, as do many of our people. Little good it does us when our enemies are the elements in starvation. An act so simple as carrying a heavy crate is beyond the capabilities of our healthiest men, believe it or not. Pray, forgive this trifle, but would you bring to me the aforementioned crate on the docks? There is no one else to whom I can turn. Yeah, so the Domans have been on board a ship for a very long time. They are all fatigued, they are all really suffering. Um, and they just they just can't they're all too weak poor things we on the other hand can put the crate in our pockets because magic is that the crate I spare in your arms pray give it to me quickly the contents are dear I thought my strength somewhat restored, but that clearly is not the case. By the gods, the armour, how could this have happened? Trust bestowed upon my father for feats of valour, every scale forged by a master smith, guaranteed to withstand the test of time. Or so we thought. The armour must have shifted within its confines during the long sea voyage. Many scales have come loose, and there were holes in the bottom of the crates, through which the four missing scales I count must have fallen. It can be repaired in time, but only if we recover those scales. Please, madam, retrace your steps and collect any scales you come across. Do, 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 do. In, in certain respects, it's kind of a shame that they uh, they couldn't do without these really obvious markers and put you know slightly more subtle ones um because this isn't really searching this is just following a trail of breadcrumbs really really kind of big shiny breadcrumbs um, 
you know, I'm not saying just have tiny, tiny scales on the floor. Um, you know, have obviously interactable objects. But, uh, you know, give them the little yellow highlight that, uh, that things get. I know not how I can face my father should those scales be forever lost. Bless you, madam. I am in your debt. All that remains of Domenau are our mementos and memories. I can only hope that when such keepsakes are lost to us, those memories will be enough. I'm actually taking the... Um, the earrings and stuff, uh, because I uh, I can now trade them in for Grand Company seals at the Maelstrom HQ, and we need some because we've only got fifty five currently, but we do have a cap now of forty five. Hosan has another favour to ask of you. While you were seeking to, seeing to that crate, the other members of my group finished preparing their belongings for shipment. All of the carriages arrive. Once all of the carriages arrive, we can begin loading. Ah, but you need to concern yourself with that. We can manage with the coachman's help. Father, I would like you to help round up the children that have been given into my care. My son, Yosan, can tell you more. So the kids are off playing hide and seek. Hide and seek. Oh. Hello there. I'm Yozan, son of Hozan. Will you be coming with us to Uldar? I hear we're travelling by a horse-bird-drawn carriage. But don't you think they're queer? Giant birds that people ride like horses? I still want to try riding one, but... What's that? You're looking for the others? <laughs> don't worry. I've already told them to get ready for the carriages. I'll need your help, though. We were just finishing a game of hide-and-seek. Three players are still in hiding, and since Lady Yugiwas told us to take it really seriously... They won't move until you found until, until they're found. But Vespa Bay isn't that big, so I bet you can find them in no time. Yes, uh, you'll notice the uh, talk of the horse birds over in uh, Othard. They have actual horses. Um, so the idea of chocobos, i.e. horse birds, um, is kind of weird for them. Because they don't have them. I can't remember where the kids are. Yes, quite interesting that Lady Geary has told the kids that they need to be super duper careful with their hiding and seeking. Because of course she is a ninja. Hey, you're not Yosun. Who are you? I'm Kahau. Kahau. Damage and Thorny, eh? Don't know where anyone else was. Wait a minute. You're one of those um, stallions, aren't you? No, science, science. Then you must know Lady Geary, right? Isn't she great? She's really good at hide and seek too. Oh, right. It's almost time to go. Nice meeting you. you find me? Bah, guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the Guardians didn't find me. Now, the third one. I seem to recall I couldn't find the third one last time either. Um,
Um. Ah. Um. Are you playing? Ah. No fair. Yosin didn't say anything about adults. Huh? We get to ride a horseback carriage. I don't know. It sounds scary. But if Yosin says it's safe, I'll go. Sorted. Wonderful. All the children are accounted. Hide and seek? Ah, I see that you are curious. It is quite simple, really. Lady Yugiri thought it best that the children know what to do in case the Gileans found us. I should hope that these days are behind us, but I nevertheless take comfort in knowing that we are prepared. If wishes were horsebirds, some dyes and some mm, bronze pieces. All of the carriages have arrived, but my father. <sighs> Stop until the last. He is refusing to leave. It is the smell of the chocobos. Many of us find it difficult to bear, but he cannot abide it. To be honest, I find it odd that I've yet to meet an Eorzean who shares our sentiments, other than the waitress at the Pissed Peast. Hmm. Mayhaps she has a means to address the smell. Might you go and see what she knows? The smell of bird. Falslind. 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 The dome is a second by how the chocobo smell. Ha! <laughs> I know just how they feel. Carriage rides make me more queasy than boat rides because of that alone. Why not try using this perfume to mask the scent? I can't promise it'll help though. I swore carriages ages ago. Too much vomiting. So we're going to go and put some perfume on the chocobos. Make them smell pretty. Oi! What in the seven hours you doing to me birds? Dowsing them with God knows what alchemical concoctions. That ain't right. The skittish creatures at art. Get them rolled up and they're liable to go every which way but the one you want. Explain yourself. <laughs> well, what's done's done. Reckon you best make sure you did the trick before you call the old man over there. Get in there and take a good long whiff. Don't be shy now. Yes, we're smelling a joke about. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> like some vile flower water covered up a joke about his musk. Bless your heart, miss. You're going about this the wrong way. Rather than pouring perfume on everything what offends your olfactory senses, just do it like the gobbies do. What? You don't know, understand me meaning? Or you ain't never traded tongue flaps with the gobby trader? Talk about that masks, miss. Gobbies don't care much for the air around these parts, hence why they're wearing contraptions. They're packing with herbs or whatnot. Or Here, take this scarf. Splash a few drops of that there perfume on it and tell the old man to tie around his face like so. Of course, you'd better hope he doesn't hate the perfume too. Genius. Genius. Try as I might, I cannot convince my father to board the carriage. Have you any ideas how we might deal with the chocobo smell? Of course. Why did I not think of that? Such a simple, elegant solution. We should take this to my father at once. It was happy coincidence that Falsland's perf perfume was made from peach blossoms. At first, my father scoffed, but one sniff was enough to put his mind at ease. Oh, if only you could have seen our orchards. So vast, so vibrant. Foreign merchants clamoured for our fruits, so great was our reputation. It is past time that we move on. The carriages are waiting. The first caravan is due to depart shortly, followed by the rest at regular intervals. My family and I will be travelling in the lead carriage, along with young Kahou, who I believe you have already met. 
Though I understand the road to Ulda is regularly patrolled by your brass blades, it would give us great comfort if you would agree to accompany us on our journey. Once again, I thank you for your kindness. When you are ready to leave, please inform my coachman. Right. Oh, hello. Breton trash from scum. Delightful. Eager to be off, are you? Oh, well, I was meaning to have a word with you about that. Runner from the blade says we might have a problem. A fierce looking beastie has been sighted south of the bridge to Amelie. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on her, of course, but I don't pay to gamble in this business. Now, I know you can handle yourself in a fight, but this lot, this lot is another story. So I was thinking you might go on ahead and have a quick look around. Make sure the area is safe, like. And if you come across anything dangerous, you know what to do. When you're satisfied the way is clear, meet us outside the horizon. The blades tell me the road there is safe, so I reckon we can make it that far on our own. Assuming the self-same bastards don't try to rob us, that is. Everybody trusts the brass blades so much. So yes, we were... Uh on our way to clear out the road. going over the bridge and over here purple sparkly danger what do we have gasp a void scent Not much of a fight, but uh, we are kind of overgeared. As I say, this 120 gear just wasn't available when this patch came out. Here we are. So there was a beastie. Well, what's been the operative word, eh? <laughs> Well fought, madam, well fought. Ah, if only I were in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Hey, my son, no mind. He forgets that his responsibilities preclude acts of daring do. Huh. Be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. Had we been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma, Things would have been very different. But we cannot change that past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost, but not forgotten. Lady Yugiri's kinsmen least of all. They fought fiercest, though they knew full well it was in vain. She had every right to walk away, yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, the promise of a better life. All this and more we owe her. How does one even begin to repay such a debt? In kind, father. To she who has given everything, we shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do without question. Ditch digging, bricklaying, it matters not. Revenant's toll will grow and prosper by our hands. 
No. Children. Hey, Miss Miss Demogen, Kahara and I want to know why you became an adventurer. Uh... So, you like roses? I think I understand. I mean, they're nice and everything, but don't they grow in lots of places? It's my turn now. Excuse me, Miss Demogen, I've got a question. What's Revenant's toll like? Is it pretty? Uh... <laughs> it is a stone's throw away from an Imperial Castrum. Um, it's a bastion of civilization in a half unforgiving wilderness. So, there are lots of rocks and things. It sounds a bit scary, but you'll be there too, won't you? Yeah, if they don't keep sending me to Horizon. Enough, Kahari, it's my turn again. Miss Demogen, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? <laughs> Buy weapons and armour from Marina. New experiences and adventures, young man. Fist punching! Of course. Be a better adventurer, you need to go adventuring. All right, all right, that's enough questions for Miss Demogen. That's not fair. Why does Yosen get to ask two questions? I want to know about adventuring just as much as he does. Ah, uh, bickering children. Just one more, please. Do you think I could be an adventurer like you one day? Nod. Really? Then I will. Thanks for the advice, Miss Demogen. I won't forget it. I'm going to be an adventurer too. When we get to Revenant's Toll, let's make an adventurer's guild for domans. We will protect our friends and punish the wicked, just like Miss Demogen and Lady Yagiri. Yeah, just like Miss Demogen and Lady Yagiri. Oh dear, what have I done? We can talk more about it in the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? Uh, yes. Guess so. Where? Where? Joke about noises. Quick! Being pestered by children. It's almost like I'm back at work. At least there's only two children in this carriage. As opposed to the 28 in my classes. <sighs> right, here we are at Hamley. Bow. Oh, the cat -toi. So many cat -toi. Right, speak with Alphino at the quicksand. Everybody loves Alphino. I do like the new, uh, the new running animation for when with your sword apt. It makes a hell of a lot more sense than the old one did. Do 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 do. Oops. <laughs> ah, Demogen. I take it the first group has arrived. Excellent. Hmm. Is there something else? No, no, I have matters well in hand here. You and Lady Yagiri should travel to Revenant's Tall. Forthwith. Forthwith, even. I thought that said otter potato, then. Uh, Alphanad would have you and Yagiri depart for Revenant's Toll without delay. You mean no more stupid fetch quest? It is past time Lady Yagiri met with the guild representatives in Revenant's Toll. 
Since I do not foresee any further matters arising here in Thanaland which might require your personal attention, I'd instead have you serve as an escort to the German delegation for the duration of the journey. Speak first with Slafburn upon your arrival. He's the one with whom the Germans will be working most closely, I should think. Afterwards, introduce Lady Yugiri to Minfilia and the Guild Emissary. If both meetings go well, the result in time should strand the Germans in good stead for that which is to come. Safe travels. Free to teleport whenever I want. Ooh, excuse me. You wouldn't think I'd had a lot of sleep, would you? Ah, Slapborn. It's been a while. And this must be the esteemed lady Yagiri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the toll. I hope you do not find our dearth of finery off putting. Poor though we may seem, we have a wealth of spirits and camaraderie to spare. Again, some of these lines um, feel a little out of place now that Revenant's toll is all big and shiny. I also find it quite insane that Nero's kind of stood around in the back there. You see, race and creed don't enter it, into it here. We welcome all sorts, provided they're willing to earn their keep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Slathborn. You may rest assured that we will carry out your orders with due diligence. Oh, not for a moment do I doubt your commitment, my lady. But I understand I give the same speech to all new arrivals. And you needn't buy your head or call me master either. We're both frontier hands as far as I'm concerned. As you wish, Slathborn. May this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. I guess I've yet to meet the antecedent. Oh, seven L's damage him. Why are you wasting your time with me? Steal them to the writing stones. To whom much is given, much is expected. Forgive me. I require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting with your leader. We shall join you at the Rising Stone to Nol. What's that random? Makoto stood there. What's Hugobert got for us? Oh, Halatali hard mode. Yes, I uh, I did Halatali as well earlier, and it took forever. We got a black mage uh, whose uh, idea of DPS was spamming Blizzard. In fact, I got one of those in um, Zemel Darkhold as well. Didn't realise that he got fire too until like the last pack before the end of the dungeon. And died a couple of times as well. God knows what he was doing. Oh, Minfilia. It is no use. Our attempts to reach the students of Baldessian have continued to meet with failure. Urianger has explored other avenues of inquiry, but they too have yielded nothing. We will persevere, of course, yet within our hearts the truth is clear. We are but waiting confirmation of that which we already know. Somebody's been and killed them all. How fair the Germans? I am given to understand you were kept quite busy in Vesper Bay. Perhaps you'll, you question the wisdom of aiding refugees when the primal threat remains unresolved. I should not blame if you did. Nor would I deny that this matter falls outside our normal purview. Be that as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees, not when it was in, within our power to help them. Lady Yugiri is here. Please show her in. I would very much like to meet her. Nodding and looking and nodding and... We have no objection. Pray do with so with our blessing. Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady. But are you quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. 
In the event that Revenant's toll could not accommodate us all, we would need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. Nod, 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 nod. As ever, it has been a pleasure antecedent. Alas, we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require anything else, pray speak with the Slafborn. Lady Ugiri, Demogen. Oh god, so much nodding. Right, new ring. Do, 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 do. One oh one and the plight of the refugees weighs heavily on Minfilia's mind. Full belly, happy heart. I pray the Doman's journey has been uneventful. They have endured too much hardship and for far too long. Ah, forgive me, there was another matter I wish to discuss. My mother was to see to it that the Domans received a welcome supper. Now that the first group's nearly here, would you go and see if she's in need of assistance? Yes, we haven't been to see Flamine for a while. I still don't think I'm pronouncing her name right either. Hello again, Demogen. To what do I owe the pleasure? Ah, ever the warrior, my Cilia. The seventh heaven should have the meals ready by now, though I believe they have yet to be delivered. Would you mind speaking with Alice, to be sure? Oh, and take this wine with you. The adults will appreciate it. I just need to pick up the wine. Will it be? Wine or something stronger? Huh, how very kind of you to volunteer your help. Here, take these meals to the emissary's assistant outside the northern gate. She'll handle distribution. Mmm, food. Delicious. Here we are. As you can see, the dome is but recently arrived. I was assured we would have food and drink by now, but we've yet to receive anything from the seventh heaven. Ah, excellent. Many thanks. While they had rations to sate their hunger during the journey, there's no substitute for a freshly cooked meal. I must say, I was not expecting you of all people to deliver these. Far be it from me to question your organisation's delegation of duties, but surely there are other tasks best suited to your talents. Yeah, you'd think so. Uh, though, on further consideration, I should probably consider this a blessing. We have a situation which would benefit from your personal attention. Oh, really? What goes on? The Adventurous Guild assistant is concerned about an eight outbreak of local fauna. May I hope you have already heard, but the late cobras that inhabit the area along the road to St. Connick's find have Connick? Connick. have multiplied to plague like proportions of late. This wasn't a concern for us in the past, as only proven adventurers tend to gather in Revenant's Toll. However, with the recent arrival of the Doman refugees, among which are the elderly and the young both, well, suffice it to say, it would not do for our newly arrived guests to fall prey to their local fauna. For their sake, would you be so kind as to rid us of these rampant cobras? The creatures have made nests along the broken pieces of the Imperial airship. You can use these slices of rancid eft meat to lure them out. So we're going to go kill some cobras. They're not far there. 
around this area. We've been here a few times. But uh, it gives you another opportunity, just in case you haven't been here before, it gives you another opportunity to, uh, or an initial opportunity, I suppose, to uh, check out the lake and all of the Imperial airships and stuff that are around here. The annoying thing, actually one of the annoying things, is that all of the job abilities from 52 to 60 are all locked behind quests. So we can't get any of them, even though we are now 52, so we should have shelter on. But until we've unlocked Heaven's Wood, I'm surprised they didn't change that, to be fair, but uh, I suppose they were tied in with the, uh, the actual quest that we had to do, so it wouldn't have made a huge amount of sense. Right, that's two Cobras. Turned around too early then. Uh, fat chocobo. the other lot. Yes, there's the uh, the keeper of the lake, the great imperial airship Agrius, supposedly invincible, clearly not, and wrapped around it the decaying form of Midgard Summer, the king of the dragons, or king of the worms. We'll actually be heading over to there in a later patch. Oh, and there's the Crystal Tower as well. Um, the explanation for the Crystal Tower always bothered me slightly. It says in the quest that it was unearthed via shifting ground in the Calamity. Um, now, that's pretty shifting. If all of that was buried underground... Um, that, that's, a, that's a big shift if that's um, thrust all the way up there. But hey, um, where's this other one? There. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a very pretty tower. Um, it just doesn't quite make sense that that much height suddenly appears. But hey, fantasy world and all that. It has to be said, up until this point, uh, patch 2.2 is probably not the most exciting of patches. Um, I mean, it moves the story along, to be sure, but it's not very interesting, really. So, the culling is done. Thank you. You've done us all a great service. While you were field tending to that business, I saw that the domains were fed. 
They are weary from the long journey, and the memory of their lost homeland is heavy in their hearts, yet I dare say I sensed a glimmer of hope in their bearing. In time, they may yet regain a semblance of inner peace. Oh, I ought to mention that something seemed to be afoot over the rising stones. Unless you be absent for a matter of import, it may well. It may be well to report back. I think this is where it starts to pick up. Yes, actually. I very much believe that this is where things start to pick up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're over halfway through this patch now. Ishtola. How goes the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The Serpent Reapers are indeed the culprits. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Thalalan? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual, summoning a freet with such crystals as they have hoarded. Urianger too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what, pray tell? For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amalja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Well, well. Vilbrand? There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh, gods. They mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence implicating the Serpent Reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. It is only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. Oh dear. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Ugh. Ouch. It's echo time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> disturbance in the ether if I did not know better I should think this device defective and there is the explanation soon soon it shall begin shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless one. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity, and with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. The emissary. Whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. Hmm, the emissary. We know who the emissary is. The gift? And knowledge. 
Are the two of you quite well? You... you shared that vision, did you not? Even before the Sahagin made mention of the Emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. But surely it is not within his power to grant the Echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend to the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Luminsa. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady, are you sure this is wise? I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Bum, bum, Very well. Bum. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. Hmm. Imagine the twin crank. I take it something ill is afoot. <laughs> he gave us just been stood there. A primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. A primal? A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. It's an endless task, though. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. Plus it means we get a really cool cutscene really soon. With a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that sets us up for the the kind of kind of finale of this patch. We've got eight eight quests left out of twenty, so we're doing all right. Minfilia wishes to share some final words on the coming mission prior to departing for Limsa Liminsa. Um, one thing I meant to point out: you might have noticed that the the voice actors seem just a little bit more confident and secure in their delivery at this point. Um, it, it's possible that they've received better direction or it's simply they've uh, they've had the time to sink into the roles a little bit, I don't know. Um, maybe they had more opportunities for takes because it did very much seem that in 2.0 there was... There was the, it was rushed. The, it was just you've got like one chance to get this line right, and and we'll use whatever, whatever you come up with. Because voice actors are expensive, yeah. Time is money. Um, so yeah, they're they're a little bit better, I think. Not not to the the standard that the the Heaven's Ward uh, voice actors are, and in fact, a couple of characters that were introduced later in the two point X series have got very good voice acting. Um, but they they're, they're getting there. Plainly, should the worst come to pass and Leviathan is summoned, our only recourse will be to face him in battle. 
Given past experience, you may very well think that eventually inevitable. Yet, so long as there is even a chance that the Prime's return might be prevented, we must need to spend all our efforts toward achieving that goal. Before we do anything else, let's hasten to Limsa and meet with the Admiral. She will not have been idle in the intervening time and will doubtless have valuable information to share. Right, so speak with Mulub. Mulub Blusthusthin. Blusthusthin. You are expected. Pray take this lift to the command room. Or is this? I can't remember. Welcome, friends. I take it Ishtola has apprised you of the situation. Let us waste no time then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagin has not had not crystals enough to summon their god. Alas, we did not count on the serpent weavers venturing as far as Thanalan to supplement their cash. For our sure sightedness, we're faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. Needless to say, I am not inclined to let the fishbacks have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready to launch a large-scale operation to thwart the summoning, and we would welcome the science support in this endeavour. But, if, gods forfend, our efforts should come to naught, I need to trouble you for more than mere support, much as I did when Titan last wore these lands. Lady Minfilia. I'm given to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front line. I can only assume that you've sound reasons for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I'd rather not be drawn on their nature. I will say only that there's something I would see with mine own eyes. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm not so stubborn as to deny the wish of one whose aid I require, but precautions must be taken. I shall require that you remember on my side at all times. With that settled... Let us speak of the operation. Sergeant Thornley, see, I'm a sergeant now, no longer a private. Our scouts are currently reconnoitring Sahagan movements within the Saps of spawning grounds. Upon completing the mission, they'll return to the operation's staging point at Camp School Valley. and want you to make your way there forthwith, that you might be apprised of the latest intelligence. Commander Falk Breeder has charge of the gar garrison. Yeah, you're, uh, there were a couple of quests that I seem to uh, to remember noting towards the start of this patch that were quite long. There was a lot of running around and there were a lot of cutscenes. Um, now, they seem to have balanced out, I think just by the nature of how they, they want the story to unfold. Um, uh, they're balanced out with more shorter questing. Which one are we on? Sea Rises. The next quest is called Fireworks and Fish Don't Mix, which is a great name. Filtbrida. I've been expecting your sign on the seventh dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent Leviathan's return. What bracelet have I got? I've got 121. As you already know, Maelstrom scouts have been dispatched to reconnoitre the Saps of spawning grounds. Among other things, they've been, they have orders to determine whether, where Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. That our scouts might move unhindered and remain unscathed, diversionary manoeuvres are presently underway. In charge of these manoeuvres is a Jugal. If you are otherwise unoccupied, Maybe you'd be willing to offer her your, offer her your aid. This is Jugal. Yeah, here to help with the 
diversions. Aren't you supposed to be that irreplaceable adventurer the success of the operation is hinging on? I'm inclined to say it's not worth risking your neck for something so trifling such as this, but if the hero insists, who am I to argue? Here, take these explosives. Use them to blow the Sahagin Pavis's sky high and create a commotion in Harston the likes of which the fishbacks have never seen. That ought to keep them good and occupied. Oh, and in the event that the Sahagin come after you, there's no need to be shy. Stay around. Get yourselves acquainted. Whatever it takes to buy more time for our scouts. Typically, there's a fate up here. There's always a fate up here. Except when you really want them to be one. Mind you, there are four that spawn in this little area. That being said, we can actually run past all these now. Right, uh, this is a a blowy uppy. Hello, Dark Helmet. Oh, you guys are level 48. Can't run past you. Mm. Yeah, can't run past the level 48 mobs, but I can, uh, can run past the level 41s. 41 ones for the fate. I quite like their, uh, their barriers here. Fireworks and fish do most certainly not mix. That sounds like the diversion was a success. I, I had the fireworks all the way over here. My friend, thanks. We should all we can for our scouts. All that's left is to pray that we overturn safely. Our scouts are long overdue, though. I fear that ill might have befallen them. For better or worse, we must ascertain the fate. If it's not too much to ask, I'll have you aid us in our search. Five scouts ventured into saps, all told. Here. Take this flask of restorative to tend to those who may have been wounded. It pains me to ever consider the notion, if though perish circumstances permitting, I ask that you recover the bodies. By no means venture too deep into enemy territory, however. We can't afford to lose you at this particular juncture. Right, so the scouts are missing. 
Unfortunately, the quest objective does kind of give away what's going to happen next. There is a wounded scout. Uh, just here. Help! Somebody! Of all the times to forget the restorative. Ugh. Thank you. I owe you my life. We were ambushed by the surfing weavers. weavers. Lightly armed as we are, we didn't stand a chance. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the serpent's tongue, I'm sure of it. I can make my own way, way, I can make my own way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg you. Okay, so we're going into enemy territory. But not actually into the Sahagin territory. We're going into the Serpent Reaver base. Uh, there's almost always a fight going on here, unfortunately. Oh, we're going to have some... Uh... That was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> Good job, we're uh, slightly higher level than we should be for this quest. I must remember, actually, if we get into trouble, I do have hallowed ground that I can pop. No damage for 10 seconds. Alright, we've got to pick up these corpses, stick them in our bags, as we want to do. The mutilated corpse of a Maelstrom soldier. Not just a corpse, but a mutilated corpse. You can blow up. Right. That was two corpses. Didn't they say that there were five scouts? We found one. And we found two more bodies. It's just chilling, leaning on the gates. Right. You've returned, thank the navigator. When I learned that you went to the serpent's tongue by yourself, I feared you'd meet an untimely demise. But tell me, what became of the others? Dear gods, these wounds weren't intended to kill, but to torture and maim. Does the savagery know no bounds? Enemies or no, they go too far. I dread to think what we might have become. What might have become of the two who made account Oh, okay. So, there are definitely still two unaccounted for. I pray that they haven't suffered the same evil fate. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that I owe you my thanks. The price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalises the details of the operation. The war horns will sound any moment now. Be ready to sally forth when they do. Right, we're now going to go and find out what this gift of eternity thing is all about. Falkbrido awaits the commencement of the operation with barely concealed rage. She is angry. Grr. 
Arr, pirates. Thrice damned fishback bastards. I'll kill them slowly and then chase their rotten souls through all the seven elves. Pity I can't do a female pirate voice. Arr. Peace, Commander. We're here for a purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want your mind on the task at hand, savvy? M my apologies, Admiral. You may count on me to keep a clear head. Good. According to our sole surviving scout, the Sahagan and their thralls have already begun to amass the etherite in the depths of Salpsa. If we're to act, it must be now. The men are ready. We but await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Sahagan have tightened security in and around the spawning grounds. A frontal assault is like to meet with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Sapsa Etherite and eliminate the Sahagan priest presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. The Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Sahagin's legion of drowned pirates, the Serpent's Tongue. Commander, you have charge over this effort. Be mindful that the lay of the land there is devilish for attacking forces. Let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent units fan out to cover their flanks. At the selfsame moment, a diversionary squadron formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshore. In likewise, we saw and shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the Sahagin defensive efforts. Demogen and Ishtola, the two of you are to make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The Admiral's diversion should serve to thin the enemy's defences, rendering your path less perilous. A small party, I believe, should be able to win through without drawing unwarranted attention. Thancred and Yugiri, your mission is to lure as many Sahagin as possible out of the spawning grounds. Having done so, take to your heels and circle round to join the infiltration unit of Ishtola and Damage. When all has been set in motion, I myself shall cut a path to the Aetherite accompanied by Lady Minfilia, as was agreed. Well, don't let me keep you, friends. To battle. Savvy. Ah. When did we last fight? When last did we fight side by side, Demogen? It's been a while. It has been a while, actually. In fact, have we ever technically fought by side by side? Okie okay, dokie, okay. so... We are closing in on the Leviathan fight. Just gonna run past all of these. Go, Kraken, go. There's another view of uh, the crystal stuck in Faris Sirius. Random storm sergeant there. Okay. Dropsy.
There's actually quite a few enemies here that you really don't need to uh, kill if you can catch them with their backs to you. Watch out for these ballistas over here, they will aggro you. to the final checkpoint. Right, it's probably worth running up here. The axolotl will... Uh... Really? Give you still a helping hand. Pray do not concern yourself, it was but a glancing blow. Come, the etherite is close at hand, let's press on. and civilians both. Hey, Thancred. Did I miss much? Let's get people hyped for Ninja. That's not an attack that ninjas get. At least it wasn't. It might be now. So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note: pick no quarrel with domains. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance for efficiency. You've too many of them.
You'll forgive me my lateness. been something of a liability of late I know it is high time I set about making amends yeah lab but oh no thank you um behind you I know this sensation. It's the echo. What? That's cheating. Anybody gonna do anything? No? Die, damn you. Foolish Shorewalker. You cannot kill that which is eternal. Blub, 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 blub. Oh, hi. Heavens for fate. Damn it all. Birds. Leviathan's hungry. Am I not immortal? Curse you, emissary! You promised me everlasting
Where did he go? What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. In Her seconds. Mercy, seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless. God save us. He means to unleash a tidal wave. Afraid so. Yeah, so um, Elidibus showed the the main Sahagin guy how to summon Leviathan, but he also showed him a little bit of the power that keeps the Asians immortal by allowing them to pass from body to body. Uh, but what the uh, the Sargon guy didn't realise is that the primals feed on the ether. So if he's just a floating ball of the stuff, it's very easy for him to uh, get turned into a tasty snack. Understand I speak of no normal wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than anything seen in nature. Enough to raise entire coastal settlements if his last attempt is any guide. We cannot suffer history to be repeated. Yet how in the seven hells are we to prevent it? Can't remember if these are, any, are actually worth anything. Right, into the heart of the world. Though our plight cries out for action, we must take thoughts. So long as Leviathan remains in the open sea, is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none of that, you may be sure, but Limlin herself would struggle to best the Lord of the Wall and his elements. In a straight fight, he would make meat and matchwood of us. We need another plan, that much is plain. Let us return to Limsa and see if we cannot think of one. I shall await you in the command room. Yes, this is one of the only Beastman Aetherites that we don't actually have to attune to. Because we get to the Leviathan fight another way. in the command room. I pray to not keep the Admiral waiting. Perish the thought. Perish the thought. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in western Lanosha. Hearthstone it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fell leveled Hearthstone and wash the soil away for good measure. That's what we've just fought through, Hearthstone. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystals stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, 
we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the third squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancret. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Yep. Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Nalvik and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks, quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. Hmm. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Nope. May have not, Admiral. But two might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side the better to bear his plunge. You'd know, wouldn't you? By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Quite so. This beer did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who he is. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required. But given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel.
Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Morabi Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slapierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. It's what I do. Oops. Legends tell us they walked among us in days of yore, but I confess that I never truly believed them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. She was talking about how that there were, there were rumoured to be primals over in the Far East, um, but she'd never seen or met one. <coughs> uh, we actually get to meet one. We get to meet Susano uh, when we are over there for Stormblood. Now that I've come face to face with the Primal, I do begin to understand why the Garleans fear them so. What is it? A message, Admiral. I judged it best that it be delivered at once. I am listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. One of the company of heroes? The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Hmm. I disinclined to put any store by this claim, and even should it be true, it is as you Stella said. None save the company of heroes has bested Leviathan, we know how that went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we don't already know? And yet, having wagered limbs to survival on two ships and rope in a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us any manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on this supposed primal slayer's claims. Demogen, seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idle idleness. Yay, gives us something to do. The man you're looking for is believed to be resident of the Grey Fleet in Lower Lenosia. The Storm Private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. The Grey Fleet is, of course, where we saw that uh, the guy on the uh, the run up to what to um, Titan. Gates. Yeah, so quite a lot more voice acting uh, in this patch than previous patches, which is good. Mostly because it means I have to do less terrible narration, um, but also because it gives you an opportunity to learn how certain things are actually pronounced. And it, it just tells a little, a better story. 
you know, having different actors do all the voices rather than me trying to give a, a half-assed approximation of them is uh, it's a damn sight better. Alright, here is the Grey Fleet. The Windmills. And who do we have to go and talk to? Uh-oh. It's Track Tomb. Now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grain over to the mill. But, but sir, that's what you said before you had me pick those oranges for you. And before I mucked out the chocobo stables, and before I roll that millstone over to the mill, and also before... Gods, man, I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days! And do you hear me complaining? Bah, I suppose it was stood out made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right, I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said, the old track too minded, generous soul. Now, prick up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting. You understand? Ahem. The tale of Tractoon's epic victory over the dread primal Levobetus. Now, Levobetus is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea how big each of his scales is about as wide across as his members long. And that's no main feat, let me tell you. Uh, yes. Well, I fought him. Could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth at least. He even knocked me trusty out of my hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. <laughs> what happened next? Why, well, I grabbed him all by the tail and tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let my mates and the company heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Yep, too modest. Now, the summer say you can never truly beat Leviabetus, but you've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Woo? It's, it's you. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the tension. It's all. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company heroes. I'm no murder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dung. I have to lie to women to tumble them. That don't happen much. My member's tiny. It's pathetic. <clears throat> I sure as hell didn't fight Leviabetus, but but I have seen him with my own eyes. It was a few years back when I was looking at a baker's hand. Working at it as a baker's hand. I was shirking my duties one day, looking about the harbour when I saw it. A great big massive sea serpent some miles off the coast with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing. I was so bloody scared I sold myself right there and then. What? Well, oh God, just remember that day made me sold myself all over again. Hey, wait. If you're asking about Leviabetus, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet at the bottom of the sea. Why, you worthless, lying horse, and can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. <sighs> Demogen, this is Minfilia. Were you able to learn anything of use about anything of use against Leviathan? I beg your pardon, Leviabetus. I see that is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at the Morbid Morbi Droy Docks. Please make your way here as soon as you're able. Oh, Tractoon. I am too lazy, too, too lazy to walk down there. It's minutes of my life that I will never get back. Okay, Storm Muscles Marshal Slafferson. I'm told your jaunt to the Grey Fleet proved fruitless. My sympathies, lass. I'll wager it served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. 
the moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the whirly to I call her, is complete, and she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to a prodigious tonnage, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might manoeuvre freely in battle. I'd mention also that she's nigh unsinkable, but I'm not one to tempt fate. The whirly to and her crew stand ready, my friend. Just give the word, and we'll bear you to Leviathan. Silly looking weapons. Einza stands ready to send you off. Stands ready to send you off to your encounter with the Lord of the World. Ah, I know that look. You're ready. I haven't been constructed in some haste. The world eater may not be pretty, but I assure you she's capable. She's been fitted with what our friends at Naldik and Rumilla are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, it'll use the power of the corrupted crystals on board to rob Leviathan of his old overwater. Depending on how the battle unfolds, we may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. It is expected that the Sahagin and their thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defence. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Thancred and Yustola, I'd have you assist in this effort. If it is to fulfil its purpose, your diversionary force must not want for numbers. By your leave, I too would venture my blade. Volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsu, I dare say the fish packs will find your presence highly diversing. Thanquid and Yustola, if you would join the third levy, and Lady Yugiri the fifth. But what words have I for the woman who's made a sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. I would echo the Admiral's sentiments and add a few words of mine own. Know that we all have the utmost faith in you, Demogen. May the crystals bless and keep you. Buddies. Boom. Alrighty, we are ready. Just before we do that, I'm going to go and grab a drink. Right, this may or may not take some time. <sighs> we need another level before we can do the, uh, the final log. I love this place. The sea is kind of frozen thanks to this crystal that's splashed down into it. It's 
kind of a pity you can't get a better vantage point on it. Let's kill the Mandragora Prince while we're here. Combat at low levels is not particularly interesting. First one. First twelve. First one. First twelve. First one. First twelve. And so on and so forth. When we got the hunting log to do in between, that would uh make this less aggravating, but uh, alas. Right, what I'm going to do is, while we wait for this, because it could be a while, um, I'm going to uh, pause the stream and then I'll, uh, I'll restart it as and when the duty finder pops. So, back in a moment. 